On hearing the noise of a fight, Samuel Atwood came up to see what was the matter, and entering the alley, heard the latter part of a combat when the boys, who had been fighting, had dispersed. He met ten or twelve soldiers, who had been fighting with them, rushing down the alley towards the square, and asked them if they had intended to murder people. They answered, Yes, we do, and struck and wounded Atwood. Immediately after those British officers appeared in the square, asking, Where were the cowards? One of the advanced towards the youth, who had the stave in his hand. But the young man, seeing a person near him with a drawn sword, held up his stave in def defiance, and then quietly passed him up by the little alley in King Street, where they attacked single and unarmed persons, till they raised much clamor. Thirty or forty persons, mostly lads, being by the means gathered in King Street, Captain Preston with a party of men were charged bayonets, came in with the main guard to the commissioner's house. The soldiers pushing their bayonets, crying, Make way! They took place in the custom house and continued to push to drive the people off, pricked some in several places, on which they were clamorous, and, it said, threw snowballs. On this the captain commanded then to fire, and nor snowballs coming, he said, Fire, be the consequences what it will. One soldier then fired, and the townsman with a cudgel struck over his hands in such force that he dropped his firelock, and rushing forward aimed a blow at the captain's head, which raised his hat and fell pretty heavy on his arm. However, the soldier continued to fire till seven or eight, or so some say, eleven guns were discharged. By this fatal maneuver, three men were laid dead on the spot, and two more struggling for life.